Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and I've just spent the past couple days testing out this brand new Scorpion XO AT950 Adventure Touring Helmet. Normally I like to spend about a year using a product before I put out a review, but I could tell almost right away that this is not a helmet I wanted to spend a lot of time wearing. Don't get me wrong, it's not a terrible helmet. There's a lot of things that I actually do like about it, uh, but for me, there were two really big deal breakers. Before I dive into those, let's talk about what I do like about it. So this was actually my first time using a modular helmet, and I found that it was actually really convenient at gas stations, at uh, stoplights, being able just to lift up the front with just one, one hand, um, you know, made it really easy to talk to people, uh, get some fresh air, drink of water, whatever it was, um, you know, really convenient. So I might actually look for a modular in the future. Uh, the second thing I liked about it is the wide field of vision. So you can see it's got um, a really big visor here. So you can see, um, you know, even more than I could in my, in my usual helmet. Lastly, uh, and arguably most subjective is the looks. So I've uh, liked the way the modular helmets look for a little while. Uh, maybe I've seen too much long way around, long way down. Um, but I think that the modular helmet looks kind of cool and I always wanted to try it out. Uh, biggest question for me was going to be about this visor here. You know, does that collect, uh, catch a lot of wind? Uh, and the answer is yes, uh, absolutely does. Uh, tons of wind, tons, tons, tons of wind, especially on the highway with the windshield off of my bike. When I had the windshield on my bike, uh, it was it was pretty good. It wasn't catching any wind at all. Um, now, the flip side of that is I don't know if it actually blocked any sun either. Um, so I think it might be just purely for uh, decoration. So let's dive into the things that uh, I didn't like. What, what were the deal breakers for me? Well, this helmet comes with uh, a built-in sunscreen. Uh, sun visor, built-in sunglasses, and uh, for me, they just didn't work. So I was getting a lot of sun reflecting off the handlebars, off the speedometer, you know, off the, the uh, gas cap, the headlight. You know, my bike has a lot of chrome on the front, and I was just getting a lot of sunlight uh, up underneath there. So they, they just didn't work for me. Secondly, the fit of this particular helmet just wasn't quite right. You know, after a real short period of time, it was just too tight on my jaw when I had the, the modular piece down. Um, my modular piece was up, it was, it was fine. You know, it was convenient. I had much more room in here. Uh, but really the only way to use it when you're riding is with the, the full face down. Overall, I think this is a pretty decent helmet, especially for the price point. Um, I got this helmet for about $215 on Revzilla. And at that price point, you do get a lot of features. You get the modular helmet, you get the removable sun visor, you get the uh, sunglasses on the inside. Um, and it's well ventilated. So a lot of times with uh, cheaper helmets, they're not as well ventilated. This one does have ventilation at the top, uh, here in the front, and on the back. Um, and uh, it seemed to work out just fine for me. Um, the weight of the helmet seemed reasonable. So it's, it's uh, not super heavy, not super light. But, you know, again, for the price point, uh, with the features that it has, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I was afraid it would be heavier. So that about wraps it up. You know, it's, it's not the right helmet for me, but I can see why people buy it. Um, and uh, I'll definitely keep it around the house if I've got uh, a guest or anybody who needs to borrow a helmet. So thanks a lot. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will uh, be happy to answer them in the comments below. Take care.